Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the November 2019 general reading for the sign of Aquarius. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus signs. And obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. And um, please do go check out the other videos that make up the signs in your natal chart to get additional messages for you. And if you're new to my video and my channels, welcome. I'm so, so thrilled you're here. If you haven't yet done so, do go check out the past videos I've done on the channel as well as the playlists that I have put together for you here. As I have hundreds of videos here, so guaranteed there may be some that jump out at you, that call to you, and usually that means there's a message in there that you're meant to hear. So with that, um, also welcome cross watchers. I'm talking here about Aquarius, but if you happen to be dealing with an Aquarius and the message resonates for you, then that is Spirit's way of bringing you the message. So always take it as it resonates. Do not make it fit if it doesn't. And um, with that, guys, I want to get started and seeing what the energies are for Aquarius. I'm going to pull nine cards. And then we're going to see what is going on. And also, if you haven't checked out my Soul Growth Accelerator, it's a special subscription that gives you access throughout the month to videos that are not available anywhere else. So there is a link down below to check out the information about that. So with that, let's get started for Aquarius. Five of Air, the Mother of Water, the Grandmother, the Two of Fire, the Shaman, the Four of Air, the Six of Earth, the Ten of Fire, and the big medicine wheel here. Okay, so let me just tune into these energies for a moment. My top three cards are the main energies. These are other ones are supportive. So let's see what's going on here. So the top row, we have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress. So... What I feel is a transition happening for you here, Aquarius, where you might be in an energy of fear, of change, of being in your head. There might be conflicted about something, um, but there is a lot of love here, whatever this situation relates to, because the mother of water, this is something where you're emotional. You, you have love, you have emotions, you care about whatever's happening. And then the empress here, this is a, the, a card that represents the sacred feminine which is a very fertile, nurturing energy. And so it's almost like there's something moving in where you may have been facing some fears that, you know, that have been coming up where your will and your determination have really br are bringing about a breakthrough for you. And we're getting the Queen of Cups with the Hierophant and then with the Ten of Wands here. Some of you may be feeling a little emotional here, overly emotional potentially. And when this comes in, this could, with the Shaman, this is about potentially healing something that's needed to be healed with or dealt with emotionally and that you are protected as this is happening. This is about spiritual truth. This could be about a relationship moving into a new dimension. But there could be a little energy of overwhelm here. Um, not overwhelm, emotional. A little bit of being more emotional than usual. I don't know why that's coming through. We're going to pull another layer of cards just to see. But we do have... We do have the world here with the Empress and the Four of Air. So I do feel like there could be something coming in in November for you, Aquarius, that might, that might be something that that brings about a really good turn of events. The opportunity to heal something and the completion of a cycle that's been difficult. Let's get another layer. Let's get another layer here. The five. 
five of air with the five of water. The sun of air with the two of fire and the six of earth with the father of air. So someone's gained some clarity. They may have been at a distance here, kind of watching, observing. We are getting cards of communication, but the overwhelming energy to start with is a fear of loss. There's something that you are afraid of losing, something that maybe you are afraid because of past heartbreak. And you might be staying at a distance from something because you're trying to be strong. You might be staying away from something, just kind of staying in the periphery of a situation. But it could be that you make a breakthrough out of this fear and sadness of past heartbreak, this conf being conflicted about the past. Okay, we're getting the medicine woman that just flipped out. This is the um, high priestess. So let's see if she comes back out. But we're going to pull other cards here for this middle row. Getting the Hermit with the Queen of Cups, the Four of Wands with the Shaman, and they fought the King of Cups with the Ten of Fire. So we're getting the Mother of Water and the Father of Water in the middle row here, along with the Four of Wands with the Shaman. So there's a there's a powerful soulmate relationship here where it feels like one person may have not been sharing their emotions the other one has been holding the space for the emotions and now it's time for that person that hasn't really shared their emotions to come through and actually take responsibility for whatever happened in the past whatever the sadness was of the past so we're getting the father of air and the father of water in this row so we're getting very mature energy very decisive clear very much loving energy, but also very um, logical and very decisive. And I'm going to pull three more here and then keep going because I'm kind of curious what comes through here with the Empress, the Four of Swords, and the Big Medicine Wheel. So we get the Eight of Fire with the Nine of Fire and the Star card. So whatever's coming in here is quite powerful with the Star and the and the world here together, the balance, the enlightenment. I am getting a very interesting, mysterious energy with these cards right now for you, Aquarius. So um, it's almost like The situation's not screaming out to me. It's more of a softer energy. I don't know why, but I'm just communicating. That's what I'm getting. So it's almost like You know, this is about contemplation and inner strength coming in. Insight and the Empress. The world and the star. It does feel certainly like there's an end of a cycle that is here that is bringing this joy and enlightenment. And that has also brought in this energy of healing and wish fulfillment and destiny. Somebody may be coming towards you that has now made some decisions. There's been a breakthrough that they've had 
and um, there is taking responsibility and it's bringing healing to the situation. It's bringing completion. Now, whether it continues after this or not is going to be different for all of you. But in November, there does feel like there's some sort of um, completion energy of a cycle that has brought up the, the sadness of the past and the fears based in the sadness of the past. Let me just get a couple more cards, a couple more messages here. We're getting the spirit guide and the mother of fire and the six of fire victory. Okay. So this is the judgment card. This is having confidence in victory. So to me, this is about you. If you know where you're going and where you want your life to go, have com be confident that you're going to get there. Be confident that there's going to be victory. There's going to be something that is worth celebrating after a period of challenge. Um, and And there could be communication coming in. A lot of things happening quickly. I have to tell you, of all the readings I've done this month, this one's been the most um, perplexing, I will say. So I'm just going to leave it at that. It's the, it's, one, it's the one reading I've done out of the, this is the 11th reading I'm doing. And it's the most... Yeah, it's the most perplexing to me. So if it's perplexing to you, know that it's perplexing to me as well. And so I definitely recommend going to listen to the other videos in your chart. Um, but let's just get, why is the nine of fire here? And the fool. Okay, so there's, you're ready to take a risk. You're ready to go forward on a new phase of your journey. That's for sure. What that journey is, how that pr plays out is not really coming through at this point, but there is something where there's the completion of the cycle that is now leading to something brand new, communication, something that is very healing, very destined. And ultimately, it's been the journey that's bringing you more closer to where you are meant to be. So with that, Aquarius, I hope that this has been helpful. And hopefully it's not as perplexing to you as it is to me, because obviously if you're here listening at this stage and it is resonating, then you know what it resonates for you. And I'm just the messenger, so I have to bring it forth, even if I don't consciously understand it. So with that, guys, I want to send you so much love. Until next time. Bye.